Hey, it's Big T. Today I am going to try and put together a little video that's going to teach you how to do an extended body for a dry fly or put one together. Out of foam, it's uh, pretty simple and you probably have the stuff you need laying around the house. Uh, this is a sewing needle. And it's a little bit larger sewing needle. There's the eye end. And what I'm going to start by doing is placing that in my vise. And I'll place the eye end in the jaws and have the point forward there. And then I've got a piece of, this is just two millimeter gray foam. And I've cut about a three inch strip that's a couple centimeters wide. Now the width that you decide to use on that is really going to be dependent upon how big of an extended body you want. And we'll go in somewhere around that halfway mark. And I'm just barely going to put that Put that pin through the foam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the thread by holding that down with the, the end down with my thumb pinching this foam closed. And I'm going to trim off that little tag end. I'm using a darker thread for contrast so you can kind of see what's going on. You could use easily a same colored thread, similar colored thread if you'd like. Um, to secure this though nicely I'm going to go ahead and do a quick whip finish. Just a little three turn whip so that I've got that knotted down and that's not going to come unraveled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thread up and under so I don't have any thread exposed on the foam coming through. In other words, what I've got is I've got my segment here, my segment here, and I don't have anything in between showing. So again, I'm going up under the foam there and over top of the needle and then down around the foam and below the needle there. And I'm going to come up and just create my segments. Now again, you can, you can use a much wider foam strip to create something larger or a skinnier one over and under and just repeat. Once I have it to the length I want, again I'm going to come in and do a whip finish. The thread I'm using is a little bit thicker thread than I normally would use for most of my fly applications. This is a 140 denier. And the reason I'm doing that is so it doesn't cut the foam itself. So keep that in mind. We'll slide that off. And there's your extended body. It's ready to use uh, for your next dry fly. If you want to get creative, or if you're looking for something additional to throw on there, you could actually put on a little bit of your UV resin on the back of this at this point in time and stick some micro fibbits out of that and glue that down. That is certainly an option. Your other option would be to, once you have that first segment tied in, to go ahead and tie them in there as well. Um, hopefully this is helpful. In the next video, we're actually going to put a fly together uh, using this extended body. 
thanks for watching for these materials. Uh, you can check my website out, bigtflyfishing.com. And please subscribe to my channel for these instructional videos on fly tying and fly fishing.